All right, we refactored her a little bit. We've added one additional piece of data that's actually missing the phone number. So this one has a phone number, this one does not, and it's only got two items. So if we access beyond two, we're gonna get a null pointer. We're gonna use this from nullable. It's a way to create a maybe from a piece of data that might be null. So if it's null or undefined, you're gonna get a nothing back. If it has a piece of data, you'll get a just. So it's a nice way to create a maybe in one function without having to do that get function, whatever. It just basically detects if it's something that's nullable. And what we've done, we've refactored our format by taking instead a list of people and the index of the person we wanna get. And we're gonna do a very imperative style of guaranteed each one of these being safe. And I'm gonna walk you through it. The first thing we can do is verify, do we have a person? Maybe. We don't know if it's there. So we very clearly call it a maybe because maybe there's someone at index of dynamic, maybe not, we don't know. And so this will guarantee to be either just or nothing. And we can use the get or else, we can use the match with syntax, whatever else. So let's assume that if we got a zero, which we do down here, and we run this code, that we've got a person because there's our number. So it's the one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we pass in zero here, we're gonna get a just person, fantastic. So when we match, it's gonna run the just, and that is gonna be our first item, that value right there, fantastic. But to be safe, because we don't know if it has dot properties, we're still gonna use the get or and provide a default value of dude, I don't know what it was, something in here messed up. So address.phone number, this will safely access it without worry about null pointers, and we'll go ahead and shove in our person. That will return the phone number. Now, if it's not there, it'll give us this. Now, what if we attached a, let's say, I don't know, a 10 to a person that doesn't even exist at all? There's no person at index 10 because there's only two items in the array. So that means we got a nothing back, and so it returned nothing, or in this case, none, for the string. Because we don't want a nothing, we actually want a string value. We're gonna try to format this. So this value is more meaningful to, to us now because now we get a good phone number or something very obnoxious, I mean, dude, I don't know what it was, or dude, there's nothing there, there's not even a person. So now we have three distinct scenarios that we can look for, way, way, way more helpful before we actually start parsing phone numbers. Now that we have a none, we can inspect each one of those three scenarios. If it's nothing, dude, there's no person at index there. Like, it's, it's not even worth our time. Or, we got a person, but the phone number was not understood, so there's something wrong with the person. Very explicit, either no person there, a problem with the data or we're too legit to quit. And so these are the three scenarios we can look for. And by at this point, we guarantee to have a value, so we don't have to check for no pointers, we always know it's a string. But we can really help the user that puts this in the UI to see these errors, they don't have to hunt, they can very quickly see what these things are, search for these error messages in the code to find exactly what the problem was, and it gives them a hint as to where the data is wrong. So a lot more useful, a lot more helpful, and that's how you can combine the safe gets and the safe get orders with default values with maybes to handle all scenarios that a null pointer can arise and still have some really helpful return values.